Good morning. We are students from the Holy Trinity College of Hong Kong. Our topic today is, will weaponized artificial intelligence bring us a safer future or a greater threat? Before we start, here's a brief introduction of what military AI is. Military AI are systems that are used for military purposes. The above examples are only a tip of the iceberg of what countries have developed for combat and civilians when human oversight is required. These governments claim that it is to protect the people and the nations, but leaving us the question, what ethical issues will these cold blood metals create if we let them take control? In the meanwhile, we will first discuss the opportunities and challenges of what weaponizing artificial intelligence will bring, suggestions regulating the ethical use of military AI will also be investigated. Now that you have a basic concept of what military AI is, let's take a look at the opportunities that such artificial intelligence will bring, shall we? First of all, we've listed us a few main benefits that military AI brings. They are lowering the overall military expenditure in long term, increasing the military strength of countries, and fostering the technological development in military. And to begin with, Military AI reduces the military expenditure in human operational efforts, transportation, and medical expenses. One should bear in mind that an AI military can serve for a much longer time and is more powerful than humans. AI robots have to reduce the cost spent on manpower. Take the US, which is at the apex of the military expenditure in the world as an example. Conventionally, the cost spent on soldiers causes a lot for military personnel each year, some of which include the basic allowance of housing, taxes, and health care for soldiers. These expenditures, however, are not required by military AI except the initial and maintenance costs. At the same time, military AI is expected to play a crucial role in the strategic and military contests. As they are contests. And still, military AI is expected to play a crucial role in the military logistics and transport. They can foster the chain supply management and allow effective transportation of essential military materials. Less expenditure is spent on prison fraud during the transportation of weapons. Hence, the chain supply of materials and battlefield can be more efficient and cost less. Moreover, the survival of soldiers is erased in the era of advanced medical technology. For example, a typical polytrauma, where a soldier has experienced multiple traumatic injuries, has a calculated annual health care that can cost up to 15,000 US dollars. And it should be noticed that this is only the tip of an iceberg. While the military AI does not require healthcare but merely maintenance, therefore, military AI reduces medical expenses. Moving on, military AI is a substitute and is better than humans when performing tasks such as pattern recognition, prediction, optimization, and autonomous decision making, which are all domain general tasks that are crucial to strategic and military contests. As they are programmed to perform these tasks, they can be more accurate and more powerful than humans. For instance, the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute has revealed that the deployed weapon systems have autonomous targeting capabilities. They are able to engage targets without human operator involvement. The AI-enabled target recognition systems are also capable of forecasting enemy behaviors evaluating the weather and environmental conditions, and even suggesting mitigation strategies. This increases the efficiency in military development and reduces the mistakes made by humans. Therefore, it eventually increases one's military strength. Furthermore, military AI's operation can cover a wider range of areas compared with manned vehicles. Not only can they work in dangerous zones such as the radioactive or explosive areas, but they can also expand their working areas to a large extent. Apart from that, killer robots are being developed by nations, including the United Kingdom, Russia, and Israel, etc. 
which are capable of executing missions on their own. This allows countries to carry out more efficient and effective military operations. On the other hand, countries have started to invest, increasingly invest in the development of military AI. Many are already developing not only autonomous powered weapons, but also related programs and softwares. This creates a mounting pressure for others to follow suit and to develop an autonomous system as rapidly as possible in order to keep ahead of adversaries. Such a mindset triggers team competition among countries. With such an arms race, countries tend to communicate and cooperate with those of the same camp regarding the regulations of the use of military AI and also the exchange of technology as to safeguard world peace. Therefore, military AI fosters technological developments in, in military. So after listening to the opportunities that brought by military AI, you must wonder, does artificial intelligence really bring so many benefits to the world? Or specifically speaking, are there any ethical issues aroused from military AI? So here are the three challenges that military AI brings to us. First off, it disrupts the balance of power. Second, it is not humanistic to use AI in military operation. Third, there are potential cybersecurity threats of using military AI. Let's first discuss the first challenge, which is military AI disrupts the balance of power. Trace back to the Cold War, when two superior powers, the US and USSR, dominated the world because of the huge amount of capital, and most importantly, the nuclear weapons. Similarly, military AI representing a country's military strength can also lead to competition. Therefore, the comparing of leadership and power in AI between superpowers like China and the United States would definitely disrupt the balance of power. Developing AI is very expensive, especially for the developing countries. With not enough capital, time, and technology, it is very difficult for them to protect themselves against the military ambitions of other developed countries. Hence, the gap between power in AI keeps widening. Moreover, using military AI in military operation is not humanistic. Robots are cold-blooded and ruthless. They have neither emotions nor feelings. They, can, they cannot judge when to stop the attack because they are only operated in computer programming. As a result, they can carry out missions without moral agency. However, it is recently announced by the U.S. Army that they are developing the first drone, which can decide who to be killed without human intervention. However, this implies that more innocent people may get hurt when inhuman robots are unable to judge when to stop the attack. At the same time, the threshold of entry into warfare may also become lower. Not only because people now are risking machines instead of human soldiers, but also because it is very easy to change the entire function of AI by just editing its code. Therefore, designing autonomous weapons for in military use is both unethical and immoral because it makes war much easier to be started before human consideration. Most importantly, when military robots make mistakes, who are going to bear the responsibility, especially when human lives are involved? The fatal car crash of Tesla running by autopilot is a prime example, which killed the driver on board. Similarly, if a nuclear warhead is mistakenly emitted due to AI errors, who should be blamed for this incident? Countries that are behind or robot itself? Just take a look at the picture on the screen. If AI saw this scenario, will it stop to protect its people? Or will it simply just turn around and bring up no feeling? Whatever the answer is, one thing we can all be sure is that as robots does not carry emotions like we humans do, therefore it must make more inhuman mistakes. Finally, the last challenge is the potential cybersecurity threats of using military AI. Cybersecurity is very important for the government to protect the systems, networks, and programs safe from hackers. However, according to a study, according to a study conducted, it is warned that AI could be used to hack into drones and autonomous vehicles, turning them into potential weapons. With an increasing number of countries employing this unmanned system in combat, it is very easy for this technology to fall into wrong hands. Worse still, it is possible for terrorists to get access to military AI systems through the black market and use them in the attacks. 
if more powerful AI systems are developed and accessed by criminals or terrorists, the damage incurred in the attacks will increase. With no turning back, it certainly poses a great threat to a country's national defense as well as the world peace. We believe that military AI has its own merits. However, we must use it wisely to avoid its ethical issues while maintaining the world peace. Measures and regulations should be taken by countries to safeguard the ethical use of military AI. During the United Nations Convention of Conventional Weapons in Geneva, 125 member states discussed the possibilities on controlling their weapon usage to address the concerns on infringing the international humanitarian law. There are two options available. We think more can be done. Therefore, we came up with two suggestions that we think are feasible. Let's start from explaining the first one. Due to its limited power, the United Nations can only control by providing suggestions and attempts to control the countries by making them signing treaties, which are no longer being valued by the member nations. Approximately a dozen of countries has already declared that they oppose the ban on creating a treaty on killer robots, which include France, Russia, and the United States. Therefore, it is necessary for countries processing and developing military AI to form an international body to handle its malicious usage and expansion. Technical and ethical issues need to be tackled more specifically. The newly established body can discuss rules about the proper military use of AI, such as prohibits the use of leather autonomous weapons. Now for the second suggestion. Military AI cybersecurity should be further improved. If military AI are going to be adopted more widely in the future, it is essential that it should be able to avoid being hacked easily or taken over control by hackers. And advanced cybersecurity is vital to protect vast amounts of data stored in a computer of a country, and most importantly, the control over autonomous weapons. Therefore, the resistance of artificial intelligence should be increased to battle against all kinds of computer viruses and cyber attacks. The defensive system is used to prevent the leaking of confidential information and the control to safeguarding the military AI. To conclude, accelerates development of military AI brings along opportunities to national defense. At the same time, Problems like imposing a threat to cybersecurity and ethical issues like the lack of humanity need to be resolved if they're going to be adopted widely. Is Terminator from the Hollywood movie really coming to a life? Is it going to be a justice cop protecting the people or a cold blood killing machine? We shall wait and see. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.